great toys like this and more, head over to Big Bad Toy Store. Click the link in the description below. What's going on guys, T2RX6 here, back for a knockoff Hercules review. Um, I've seen this one around on the internet for a while, and I've heard various things about them, and I just kind of felt like I really wanted to take a look at it, and I'm like, whatever, I like the yellow construction vehicles and I like Hercules, how can I go wrong? Well, let me be clear with you here. If anyone tells you these are as good as the original ones, they are lying to you big time. These are as knockoff as knockoff gets. And that will become super apparent when we look at each one of them individually. I wish I had my members of Hercules here so I could actually compare them for you. Um, unfortunately, they are packed up somewhere in the move. And I don't know where I'm going to find them. Uh, but just take my word for it. The plastic alone is enough to, uh, you know, show how much of a knockoff they are. Now, granted, these are better knockoffs than your your typical knockoff. I don't feel like anything's going to break, but it's not TFC quality. Before we go on, let's point out some of the accessories that came with these guys uh, are like the chest shield, which was made up of multiple parts. It is now a single cast piece. Uh, all the guns here that each one had. You can see it's all the guns, uh, but just formed as one solid, you know, non-movable piece. I even have the peg holes to some of them still here. Like, that's weird. Uh, the hands are now a cast solid piece. Um, yeah, not even a wrist swivel. You know, I never even tried. Can, well, got a hole here yeah he can hold his gun so that's a plus we'll just leave that like that and then there's of course the other hand so let's look at these guys individually and let's see where the atrocity really begins so this is the x-graver equivalent um i was debating whether i wanted to do this guy first or last <sighs> it's just so bad so We've got the claw arm here, and if you're familiar with the toy, you know that that was up at the front here. Um, the problem is, this hole cannot accommodate this in any way, shape, or form. So your only choice is to put it in the back. And the arm is also completely devoid of articulation. Uh, so you can't even get it out of the way of its own cab. I suppose you could put the the tractor backwards here and do something like this but look at that view the driver has you know he totally can see everything going on and it becomes too back heavy to work with so really your only option is to put this forward like this uh yeah so we're gonna take this off oh and i forgot bonus feature you can split this apart just like that which you know, can make things look a little bit more interesting in robot mode, I suppose, if you do it right. Uh, but ultimately ends up just being a hollow mess that doesn't work. So anyway, let's take this guy to his robot mode. Uh, most of the transformations are fairly intact. And they're not super, uh, but they're there. So we'll take this, we'll fold his legs down just like you would regular X-Graver. Um, you do have the two options on, you know, how you want the legs to kind of look. Uh, if you want them taller or not, I'm just going to do it proper with the like 90 degree thing. Rotate this around. Here's his knees. Um, you only have front feet this time, not a full set of interconnected feet, which is a problem. Uh, we'll take his head. Oh no, we won't. It's stuck there. So we'll just fold that thing up. Fold this around. Fold these down like this. And there we go. We've got X-Graver. Uh, I suppose if you want, you have to take this off if you want to do it, but you can put this down here and your little piece goes nowhere. And I guess we can make this more interesting by attaching it to the back here and completely taking this thing apart. There we go. And you can at least make them look like, like this from the back. And I don't think that that looks terrible. Um, but good luck making them stand. So let's talk articulation on uh, X-Graver here. Nothing on the head. Uh, 
no rotation on the arms, no elbows. Uh, in fact, all he can do with his arms is this maneuver. Uh, we do have the waist, you do have the ball jointed leg, and the knee like that. And this brought me to an interesting point. Uh, I feel like when Hasbro decided they wanted to do a, a Combiner Wars uh, Devastator, they kind of looked at, you know, these guys as inspiration. Like, I feel like they're like, what made Hercules and, you know, the, the Devastators that have been out there so successful? I don't know, let's go get the TFC one, except that, you know, Steve in the office got the, the knockoff version. They're like, oh my goodness, look, look how hollow this is and how lacking articulation. And the people like it. We can make one just like that and better. And by all accounts, your actual Hasbro one will be better. But this is not at all indicative of the quality of uh, the actual X-Graver toy. So let's move on before this takes forever. So we'll come to the scrapper equivalent. And this one, in my opinion, is probably the least disappointing. I believe this is the first one I took out of the, the package uh, when I got this. And I uh, actually thought that there was hope for this set. So, uh, yeah, we'll get him transformed. We'll take the back off here. Uh, disconnect the arms like so. Bring the legs down. And, you know, so far, looking pretty much like TFC's scrapper. No uh, heel spurs here, so that's kind of a problem. Uh, no ratchets here. With the odd swivel on this wheel, I really don't quite understand that decision. But, uh, yeah, we can certainly swivel this around. You know, we even got the, the wrists that fold out. There we go, just like that. If we can get it. There we go. And the head, as you saw, just folds up. It doesn't, doesn't pop down. And, uh, yeah, you kind of got this going on. There's really nothing you can do with the backpack. Again, without taking this down, you can fold that around. And, uh, the shovel can split apart, but it's massively a pain in the butt to put back together. But there we go. I think this is as close to the TFC Scrapper uh, bot mode that we're going to get. He stands okay. He looks okay. He's actually got all the same articulation. Uh, I don't remember. If, I think there might have been a swivel here, but that's not too bad. Uh, no head on a ball joint. Uh, waist works. The ball jointed legs. The knees. He's pretty okay. He's probably the best one of this set, unfortunately. And uh, we'll see as we keep going on exactly what we're talking about. So here's our long haul um, slash heavy load, I think his name was. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I mean, he's he's pretty okay. Uh, he's probably the next one, the next least terrible on these guys. Uh, yeah, you can flip that down. That, that all works nicely. Uh, you can flip this. The head does pop up in the same way. Paint job. Absolutely terrible on that head with red paint everywhere. Uh, disconnect these guys. Fold this down just like you would. And, uh, yeah. This is where he falls apart. So, <laughs> we've got his arms like this. And there's no rotation to rotate any of this stuff. So he's kind of always making that muscle man pose. Which then goes right back to that Hasbro Devastator who only has in and out articulation of his arms. He can't actually bring them forward. The similarities are striking here, but uh, yeah, here's here's heavy load. Next up, we'll go with one of my personal favorites, uh, the Mixmaster uh, Mad Blender. Yep, there we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull his legs out. Massively easier to work with than the uh, actual TFC version, in my opinion. Uh, the feet come down here just like so. Um, waist rotates around. Just like that. We'll disconnect these. And the wheels don't get out of your way here. So you never kind of transform the arms right. But he kind of works. 
There we go. Just like this, and uh, these are on a ball joint, so that's nice. You can actually hold them up if you so choose. Oh, looks like we lost his arm. There we go, the arm clipped right back in place. Uh, the head does slide up on this guy, just like so. And uh, when we come to this back piece, your whole mixing drum comes off, and this can all fold down. Uh, that doesn't look terribly nice. And the mixing drum is once again articulated that you can split it in half. Again, we're not gonna do that. There we go. There's our Mad Blender equivalent. Uh, okay, he's not not terrible, but he's not great. You can see he doesn't really hold himself up at all. Yeah, just everything is very loose and it just doesn't look right. So let's move on to Hook here. Hook has his crane, which does absolutely nothing. No up and down, you know, you can swivel it. He does have an offset peg, so when you put this in here, uh, you can see it's not lined up with the center of the truck. That may bother you. Maybe it won't. Uh, once again, uh, you know, I thought I saw this splitting. It looks like, yeah, it splits. Uh, yeah, just like this, because I've seen some things we can do with it, and we'll get to that later, I guess. So here's the core hook figure. We'll take these, uh, open these on up. They don't have that intricate, like, system that keeps them in there. But they, they serve their purpose. Split the legs here. Uh, no feet. That was a problem with the regular one, though, so I'm not going to knock it for that. And there we go. Here's Hook. He's not, not horrible. Um, actually, you know what? He may be the second best one of the set outside of, uh, the scrapper equivalent. I actually think that he actually is probably the closest, but he probably has to be to actually make the uh, Devastator slash Hercules mode. And then finally we have uh, Bone Crusher. I hope I'm getting the order right. I always forget Scavenger, Scrapper, and Bone Crusher, which one is which. Anyway, um, this guy without this on him, just look at that. That's just ridiculous looking and it you have to take it off for the transformation, and uh, it just looks terrible. Anyway, get him transformed. Oh yeah, he's also got these pieces that were part of the blades uh, on the regular toy, and uh, they just kind of sit there this time, and they don't do anything. Uh, so you have really no choice but to do the Xgraver style foot with him, because you obviously don't have the blades connected down there. Um, yeah, whoops. That popped right off because that's on an awkwardly placed ball joint on the side of his head. There we go. Just bring these around. Bring these on up. Um, I guess fold these down. There's really not much to do with those. Open this up. Bring his hand. And then uh, you've got a panel hanging off. I guess we can just put it that way. I guess that looks the best. And, uh, yeah, nothing kind of locks in together. He just kind of, like, <laughs> it's so bad. It is so bad. Um, yeah, I just can't even look at it and hold a straight face. Like, I want to send this to my buddy Oscar uh, for his uh, review channel. Because uh, I think he can do wonderful things with it. But I, on the same time, I don't want to send it just because this is so stupid looking that like anytime I'm feeling down I can always look at this guy and know that you know if he were alive he'd always be having a worse day than me um oh it's so bad so here we go there is the entire set of rejecticons just absolutely terrible all right, so just with the real, just like with the real Hercules, it's best to start these guys all in their uh, vehicle modes, and we can kind of make them work. Uh, you just pretty much do that with Mixmaster here. Uh, we take our scavenger here, and um, this one's a little bit 
more tricky because he doesn't actually work like he's supposed to. Um, I guess we'll we'll do that, and if we need to better support his leg after, I think that'll be okay though. Uh, we'll just try that, see how that works. Just like so. Oh, and you don't have any of that side to side uh, leg motion that you had previously. Uh, we'll take our long haul here, bring this down. Uh, fortunately, we still have the joint here to maybe. Uh oh, look at that! All of that plastic is stressing uh, because it doesn't work right. There we go. Uh, that's. I don't know. Let's just let's try to do this in a way that won't break it, just like that here. Uh, that'll work. Uh, we'll flip these around to make the Devastator legs. Yeah. Look at the plastic tolerance. Is how all this is off. It just doesn't work. Uh, make that like that, and we can take these. And the one nice thing is, if you see these, they got a little slot in them kind of line them up and you turn them and they won't come apart that is a nice alternative to the energon style in my opinion so there is one improvement here uh, which this does tout itself as being a improved hercules set uh, we'll take these guys get this off um yeah split this just like so uh it will connect just like it did uh, on the original uh, you know what though I forgot it's been a while since I did this we have to bring the little stabilizers which they did leave in there on this one out this one being virtually impossible to do by hand uh, I'm gonna have to get something and I'll be right back all right, so there we go. We got this out, so we'll put this back together just like so, and uh, make sure we get the arm ones out on each side here. There we go, and you know what? Who cares? Let's just reveal the head now. This does plug in down there, and you get a visored Hercules head, which actually doesn't look terrible. Paint's a bit sloppy, but whatever. Uh, take this, and just this one just actually plugs right in the top, no tricks about it, anything like that. Um, you can hear how solid it does clip in. There we go, and we'll find a way to raise our tripod a bit more. Alright, so we've got that going. Let's go ahead and uh, clip this onto these peg and a half there. There we go, that looks good. Uh, we'll take the X-Graver body, open this up. Flip this side panel down. I suppose we can actually, for the sake of trying to make him look a bit more like Hercules, we'll put this back on and we can uh, plug that in right to the back like this. Uh, hopefully, keeping this out of the way. Fold these on up, bring them down like so. And we'll take his hand here and we'll plug it right on in there, just like so. And once again, you do have the, the split peg system. So you kind of put it on sideways and bring it down. And it's very sturdy. And then you come to this guy here. Once again, same thing. Bring this down. Figure out what you want to do with this blade. Fold these on in. Like so making it so it's an elbow and we'll bring his gun and hand I'll plug this on in just like this and plug it in just like so and there we go we've got our devastator here uh, you can put this on if you want it is designed that offset nature does let it plug right in there without it actually hitting them in the head Though, my understanding is that the reason that this is done like that, remember how I said we can split it apart? Well, pictures online seem to show them kind of done like this, which is a bit more interesting looking for 
the use of the thing here. So you kind of you kind of get this going on on both sides, which doesn't, I guess, look terrible. Now, in fairness, in the combined mode, this is probably the best it's actually going to look. It really, you know, it holds together nice. That's not the problem, but it still feels cheap. Um, yeah. Definitely, if you're going to get the set, the draw is the combined mode, though, because the individual robots are not good. But I don't know why you would want this over the regular Hercules. Like, you can see he's just kind of a floppy mess. Um... Things don't really work out. Uh, articulation is fine. Uh, the head is actually just on a pivot up and down, so that sucks. I was wrong. Uh, 360 at the arm, uh, which I think is going to give out the more you twist it around because it's not the right connection. You do have a swivel elbow joint, but it's not strong enough to hold anything. The waist, of course, that works. The leg ratchets, uh, the knees. I mean, for combined mode, I guess he's okay, but he cost at least the price of one of the Hercules members when they weren't going for cheap. And I've seen people selling Hercules for as low as like $250, $270. I just don't know why you would want this over that. So, yeah, it's pretty terrible. Um, I certainly have seen worse Transformers, but I really can't recommend this guy to anyone. Um... Do yourself a favor if you're interested in her, and actually pick up the real robots. Um, go over use that link in the description for BBTS and help me out there and uh, not get the knockoff because it's awful. So this is TTRX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll see you next time.